There's a bunch of arpeggios I like using on minor chords. Let's say we have A minor, 7. A minor, triad. A minor, add 9. A minor, 7. A minor, major 7. F major 7 G major 7 E minor 7 D mixolydian G mixolydian Listen, that's a great arpeggio fingering for a C major 7 chord because it covers the entire neck. If I start here, then slow. Quick lesson, I like using 2-1-2 two, two combinations on the guitar because not only does it give you five note groupings, but it sounds really melodic if you use the right intervals. If I'm playing over an A7 chord, Quick lesson, an easy way to play melodically in a minor key is just to take two triads. Let's say the tonic minor triad and then the major triad built on the flat seven. So if you're in the key of D minor, that would be D minor and C major. Build your lines off those. Quick lesson, it's cool to take a scale or a mode, let's say B Dorian, that's A major scale, and then take a group of intervals. I like to use wide intervals, let's say fifth, six, six, fifth, fifth, six, six, fifth, fifth. And then make up a rhythmic pattern using hammer rounds from nowhere. Quick lesson, it's great practice to warm up using spread triads, trying to alternate pick them as much as possible, and connect the notes. Make them ring together if you can. Just make up chord progressions. Let's say you do something like a... Listen, it's great practice to take a key, let's say F sharp minor, play the spread triads, let's say ascending. Mm -hmm. 
C minor, E over G sharp, E major, B minor, A over C sharp, E major, E major, F sharp minor, and then I'll descend playing them as lines. It sounds really cool. By the way, go to BeattleBundle.com. You can get all of my educational products for $99 for the next two days and learn to play things like that. Quick lesson, here's a great exercise to practice over a famous progression. You'll recognize it. Quick lesson, I like practicing ideas that go from major to minor, like uh, an E major to E minor. Listen, a cool way to add color to your pentatonic playing is to use an add four arpeggio, a step below the key you're in. So let's say you're in D minor. That would be a C add four. Add it to your D minor pentatonic scale, right? Quick lesson, I like practicing arpeggios on minor seventh chords off the root, flat third, fifth, and flat seven. If you're on a C minor seventh chord, it'd be the notes C, E flat, G, and E flat, and the chords would be C minor, E flat major, G minor, B flat major, and it repeat. Let me do all of them again. It's cool to combine pentatonics with add nine chords. I took an E minor pentatonic, came down to pentatonic in fives, then I went to three add nine chords. C add nine, G add nine, D add nine, and then ended on E. Quick lesson, to become a great improviser, you first need to learn how to master the 5-1 cadence in major and minor. Let's say we take A minor. 5-1 would be A minor, E7, A minor. I could go. Or you can do it in faster lines. Up. Do it in uh, just over E7, combine it to it. Quick 
Nonetheless, it's great practice to take a neoclassical progression like two, five, one, four in major, and then go to the relative minor and do two, five, one. Let's say you're in the key of F. I'm gonna start in G minor seven, C seven, F major, B flat, B diminished, A over C sharp, D minor, F sharp diminished, but put it into a line. Quick lesson, I like using cross string unisons in my lines. Let's say playing over E minor. So I played the B string and E string, played the note B on it. I also come down to E minor add nine with the same lick. Or you can play those same ideas still in E minor, E Aeolian. Listen, when soloing over a minor chord, I like using the minor add nine off the root and off the fourth of the chord. So if you get E minor, use E minor add nine and A minor add nine, both off the E minor chord. When soloing over chords, that was a C7 chord, I'm always looking for target notes. The first phrase, there's the fifth, the fourth, fifth, third, third, like that. I like using pivot tones in my solos. These pivot points when improvising. In Lydian mode is a major scale with sharp four. That's D Lydian. And that sharp four is really important in your lines to give it that sound.
using the hexatonic scale for improvising a minor hit. Hexatonic would be a minor scale without the six, so in B minor. <laughs> cool for flowing lines or maybe here or here or you can play it Quick lesson, I like taking simple chord progressions. Let's say if you're in minor, just one minor, flat seven minor, flat six minor, and making little chord progression etudes, but using the modal sounds of each. Let's say you're in D minor, so it'd be D minor, C major, B flat major. So I'm gonna use like Aeolian, Mixolydian, Lydian sounds. Mm -hmm. 